In today's video, we'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to use OpenArt, an AI character creator that generates consistent characters from a single image. To get started, the first step is to head over to OpenArt's website. Once you've signed up and logged in, you'll land on the homepage where you'll find two key sections, image generation and storytelling mode. Both of these features offer incredible possibilities, but for today, we're focusing on character creation. Clicking on Generate Image takes you directly to OpenArt's AI-powered image generator. On the left-hand side, you'll see several options, including the AI model selector, a prompt box, and various rendering settings such as aspect ratio, reference image, and more. For example, one of my personal favorites is Epi Creolism, which produces some of the most detailed and lifelike results. Let's say I want a cinematic portrait of a futuristic samurai standing under neon-lit rain in a cyberpunk city. I'll provide details about the character's look, set my preferred aspect ratio, and hit Generate. And just like that, the results speak for themselves. This is what makes OpenArt stand out from other AI tools. Now, by navigating to the storytelling mode and selecting Consistent Character, you unlock powerful tools to refine your character's design. The first way to create a character is by simply describing it in text. Just type out the details, physical features, outfit, style, and any specific elements you want included. For example, I described a futuristic detective wearing a high-tech trench coat, cybernetic implants, and holographic glasses. And just like that, OpenArt brought the character to life. The second method involves using a single reference image. Start by selecting Create Character from One Image in the Character Creation menu. For this example, I'll use an image of a rogue space explorer with a mechanical arm and a battle-worn spacesuit. But you can use any high-quality picture, whether it's an AI-generated design, a real photograph, or a piece of digital artwork. Next, name your character. I'll enter KL here. Then upload your image, either drag and drop it or manually select it from your files. Once your image is uploaded, click Create Character. OpenArt will then begin processing the image, which usually takes around five to 10 minutes. Then there's the third approach, where you train a custom character using multiple images. This is great if you have several references and want to replicate a specific person or character design. All right, now that our character is trained and ready, let's start creating some amazing scenes with him. First, I'll click Create with our character selected. From experience, there are a few key settings that can make a huge difference in getting the best results. There's a slider under character called Weight. Based on my testing, increasing this slightly helps maintain character consistency. I usually set it around 0.8, which ensures Kale stays recognizable and doesn't randomly change appearance. Another important setting is Strictly Keep Key Character Features. By default, this is turned on to preserve the character's core traits. However, if you want more flexibility, such as different outfits, hairstyles, or variations in expression, you can turn it off for more diverse results. Now, let's write our first prompt. I'm going to type, Kyle navigates a cyberpunk metropolis, neon lights reflecting off rain-soaked streets, dressed in his signature armored jacket. It's important to include the character's name at the beginning of the prompt, so open art knows who the main focus should be. And here's the result. Kale looks exactly like our reference image, but now he's in an entirely new environment. His facial structure and outfit remain consistent, which is truly impressive. Now let's tweak things by turning off strictly keep key character features and generating the same scene again. This time, Kale has longer hair and a more futuristic outfit. The character is still clearly recognizable, but his appearance has adjusted to fit the new theme. If the results aren't quite what you envisioned on the first attempt, don't worry. Simply click the edit button to enter the editing mode. One of the most impressive features is the edit people tool. Let's say Kale's face didn't turn out exactly as expected in a particular scene. By selecting edit people, you instantly gain access to face enhancement and hand correction tools. The best part? You don't need to write any complicated prompts. Just click Enhance Face, and OpenArt intelligently refines the details while preserving the character's core features. However, in this case, I think Kale's face looks just right, so no adjustments are needed. Next, there's the Remove tool, which is perfect for fixing small issues in the scene. 
If an unintended element appears, you can simply select it and remove it instantly. For example, let's say there's an awkward anatomical error, like an extra elbow. I'll select the problematic area and hit remove, and just like that, it's gone. Now, what if you want to change a specific detail like Kale's outfit? That's where the in-painting mode comes in. Just highlight the section you want to modify, and then describe what you'd like instead. Watch what happens. OpenArt seamlessly updates the design while maintaining the correct lighting and composition. When you're in the character creation mode, you'll see an option called Pose Your Character. Clicking on it opens up an incredible 3D model editor, allowing you to pose your character exactly how you want. There are two ways to use this tool. If you want quick and easy results, OpenArt offers a library of preset poses in a drop-down menu. You'll find everything from basic standing stances to dynamic action movements. For this example with Kale, I want to create an epic moment. Instead of trying to describe this pose through text alone, I'll simply select arms holding left knee from the preset library. From there, I can fine tune the position however I like. The control points on the 3D model allow for complete customization. I'll slightly adjust Kale's head angle and raise one of his arms a bit for a more natural stance. You can tweak every detail, including hand positions, leg angles, and even facial orientation for the perfect pose. Next, I'll change the camera angle to a low perspective, making the scene feel even more dramatic. This is how you achieve those cinematic storytelling shots. Once everything looks right, I'll click Update Pose. OpenArt will then generate a depth map, which helps the AI properly place the character within the environment. Once you've got an image you're happy with, you'll see an option labeled Image to Video at the top. OpenArt integrates directly with Kling 1.6, one of the most powerful AI video generation models out there. You can also use Hilo's video model, which produces stunning results. For this example, I've generated an image of Kale. Now, I'll click Image to Video, and a prompt box will appear. Here, I'll enter my animation details. And just like that, we've turned a static image into a fully animated scene. The camera flows smoothly around Kale, his appearance remains consistent, and the lighting naturally adjusts as the scene progresses. For video length, I typically choose five to 10 seconds, but you can go longer if needed. Let's dive into another example. This time, we'll go for something more dynamic. I've got an image of Kale holding an object. For this shot, I'll enter a more cinematic prompt. And just like that, the results are absolutely stunning. The AI perfectly executes the camera motion, creating a professional level cinematic sequence from a single reference image. Now, you can generate entire scenes of your character in different scenarios with smooth, movie-like camera movements, all in just a few clicks. Trust me, having access to a tool like this is an absolute game changer. It'll save you tons of time while delivering professional quality results. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Chew in the...